So in our previous playlist, we had uh, beginner C-sharp interview questions. Now we're going to more intermediate, um, more of the questions you're going to see, more fun question, I, I, I feel like. Um, so I guess our first question is, what is a static class? Okay, so a static class, the, the quick and easy answer is, it's a class that has the word static written before it. Um, so like public static mm -hmm. class. Um, so let's let's go ahead and make one just to illustrate. Okay. So um, we've got a couple classes here. None of them are static. There's a static on the main. Do you want to create a whole new? Yeah, let's make a whole new file. Class two. Yep. So right now this is not a static class. Mm -hmm. uh, if you write the word static in there before the word class, now it is. Now, what that what is that is doing is now it's no longer a blueprint or anything. Um, it is it's not something you can make hundreds and hundreds of cars. Right, right now it's there's one and only one. It is exactly linked to the type. Okay. Um, so what that means practically is that inside of this static class, we are going to get an error if we try to put anything in it that isn't also static. Okay. So if we put a method here, um, just make any generic. Uh, not generic, but make any standard method. Public int. Yeah. Yeah, try making a non-static method. There you go. And you're going to see that red squiggly shows up there underneath the word main. Mm -hmm. And if you hover over that or you go and look at your air screen, main cannot declare an instance member in a static class. So it doesn't like that you have something that isn't static inside of a class that is static. Mm -hmm. So th the main reason we use static classes is to stop us from making mistakes. Right. We want to make a rule that this class can't have anything that isn't static. And if we do put something in it that's not static, we want it to throw an error to tell us that we did something wrong. Mm -hmm. um, basically to put a restriction on us as yep. the programmer. So I mean, so you might have a class called car that's not static and you're making, you, you basically can instantiate all these cars, but um, a class that is static, you're no longer instantiating, you know how I have this blueprint. It's basically being shared, that one class is one class and being shared all over. Is that yeah. a good way of explaining it? I yeah, guess? so the, the, the byproduct of this is because everything is static within the class, there's nothing to instantiate. Right, absolutely. Thank you for watching that video from F12 Programming. Please remember to like and subscribe. That does so much for us in the ratings. You have no idea. Also, don't forget to comment below. I hope you enjoyed and good luck coding.